In this video, I want to talk a little bit about rounding numbers to give them a specified number of significant figures. And this is going to become important when we start talking about calculations and how to adjust the result of a calculation to give it the appropriate number of significant figures. It's very common that a calculation will give us more significant figures than we need to actually honestly report the result of the calculation with the correct precision. So we often need to trim a longer number down to a smaller number of digits. For example, here you see 2.4584, and imagine we knew, applying the rules for calculations, which we'll talk about later, that we needed to express this number to three significant figures. To do this, we need to round off the end of the number, and there are actually, believe it or not, multiple ways to round numbers. So I'll talk a little bit about the convention I use and the convention we'll use throughout the class. The most significant digit on the left is where you're going to start. You're going to start here when it comes to rounding and specifying a particular number of significant figures. This is called the most significant digit because it's the largest place by definition on the left. Here the ones place is the largest and they get smaller by powers of 10 as we move off to the right. From here we simply count off the number of digits we need. So 2 is the first, 4 is the second, 5 is the third, and we've got our three digits. And then to decide what to do rounding wise, we look at the digits that follow that last least significant digit. So here we have 84. Because that 84 is greater than 50, we round up to 2.46. And so the rule here is that we look at the digit to the right of the least significant digit. In the example above, it was the 5, and so we looked then at the 8. If that digit is less than or equal to 4, round the number down. On the other hand, if that digit is greater than or equal to 5, round up. And round up even if all of the remaining digits are 5 with 0 repeating. So this is sort of the ambiguous case. Do we round up or down when that digit after the least significant digit is a 5? My rule is I round up. It creates a little bit of a bias, but nonetheless it's a common convention we can agree on. So if the digit after the least significant digit is less than or equal to 4, round down. If that digit is greater than or equal to 5, round up. 